Fake Goodwin here, and eventually we will like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, help promote and rank up my video, share the video. YouTube's algorithm hates me. <laughs> but seriously, uh, John Cena, so here, here's the deal. John Cena has uh, been announced to have his own show over on HBO Max, Warner Max, whatever you want to call it. James Gunn is going to be doing the first couple of episodes or whatever, or at least a pilot to bring this character to life. And that can only mean something similar I said about the uh, Gotham TV show before. Matt Reeves actually showed us anything at all. I, I, I said that they must have a real, you know, high amount of confidence in this guy to just agree to do that show, that Gotham prequel show. That's pretty much sounds like a carbon copy of the Gotham show we got over on Fox. But considering that it's going to be on HBO Max, it's going to be much more mature, darker. They're going to be able to do a lot more things. It's going to be really different. Not, I, I don't expect it to be something overtly ridiculous or whatever, but this will be. So, um, the only thing I can think of is, is that this guy just blew them away. John Cena blew them away with whatever performance, his performance in the Suicide Squad movie that I think is going to be absolutely hilarious and brutal and dark and mature and rated R. Uh, that's what I expect from that movie. Um, uh, so I, I, I kind of think that he just stole the show uh, or something because to get this guy his own show, that's that's a big deal. However, there are some concerns because I see people already political and uh, making this a political thing, uh, comparing his character to like gun toting MAGA wearing Trump supporters or whatever. Uh, um, uh, just completely ridiculous comparisons and, and I'll share those with you in a second and, and there's also some concern with it saying that it, it's going to delve into re real world issues that's always something to be concerned about we don't want to be lectured as an audience however certain things can be uh, uh, the, uh, you know certain things can you know dive into real world issues and, and be handled well the boys handles a lot of stuff well even though the creator of the show is insanely left leaning leaning he is insane <laughs> uh, white men are the ones you have to worry about or whatever uh so but the boys for the most part i, I mean it, it covers a lot of leftist issues in the show but it, it's satire and the, the way it handles it for the most part or at least for a good portion of the part the execution as well so the execution could be well it could be good saying uh, it's going to delve into cur current world issues doesn't mean that it's just going to be absolutely terrible but on the other hand i mean look at supergirl it handled immigration, transgender stuff, LGBT stuff, race changing, gender swapping, and I could not stand that show. And it finally got the axe over there. So when it comes to this show, how are they going to handle it? James Gunn is a left leaning individual, but he makes some pretty hilarious movies uh, and has some pretty edgy stuff. So when he, uh, and this guy's been described as a uh, by John Cena himself as a douchey Captain America, but like I said, there are some concerns to be raised. However, on the other hand, this is you know HBO Max going all in on the DC stuff. So not only there is there now this Peacemaker show, uh, there's the Gotham prequel show, and I said the same thing about they must have a high amount of confidence in Matt Reeves to be giving him this Gotham show before we've seen any footage or anything of the Batman. And look how that worked out. So, it, it, he must really steal the show. Now, um, Gotham prequel series, this 
prequel series. This is a prequel series. It's an eight episode thing that's going to be exploring this character and his origins. So does that, it doesn't necessarily, does he die in the Suicide Squad movie? Will that impact the show? If he does, I think that movie's going to be a slaughter fest. There's reason there's so many lower tier characters in it, and it's filled to the brim with them. I expect a lot of them to die relatively fast. But because this is John Cena, he might make it out alive. However, if he doesn't, it really doesn't matter because this is an origin story. Now, a lot of people won't have much interest in it if the character doesn't make it out of that movie alive. But still, this is an origin story. So the tensions are going to be relatively low because you know he's going to survive the entire length of the first episodes in order to get to that movie in the first place. So you've already, you've already watered down that element that this character could like bite it at the end of the eight episodes you've you've already crossed that out which removes some of the tension and all that however uh when it says they're gonna dive into real world issues what does that mean exactly what does that mean exactly i i'm seeing some things that i'm not liking but, you know, media outlets can never be trusted. They always build things as woke as possible and say things as ridiculous as possible. Rounding into comics is the one I'm referring to when it comes to this. I've seen this article over here, and it just goes on to Peacemaker is one of those anti-heroes rounding out James Gunn's upcoming Suicide Squad is described as a man who believes in peace at any cost no matter how many people he has to kill to get it how did he get that way you wonder well good news HBO Max plans to explore that very question in a prequel series uh, who plays gun-toting dickhead in the film. Gun will write the eight episodes, but here's the part that concerns me, and I'll do it before his uh, next Guardians of the Galaxy sequel. But the part that concerns me is, in a statement, Gun seems to anticipate the blowback he's like to, likely to receive. I guess they forgot the to spell that correctly, <laughs> and it says he's like to receive. So he's likely to receive for building a show around a freedom-loving vigilante as a MAGA chuds form shoddy militias and shoot non-violent protesters in the real world. So y you see, Peacemaker is an up is an opportunity to delve into current world issues through the lens of this superhero, supervillain, and world's biggest douchebag. That's what he said in a statement, but it's not him saying this MAGA stuff. To be clear, it's the media outlet saying this. Uh, this MAGA chuds uh, stuff about shooting non-violent protesters. I, I think that's funny that they frame it that way since I've heard a lot of uh, non-violent protesters. Uh, I keep hearing that word non-violent protesters while they're burning buildings to the, da to the damn ground and harming people that are defending their businesses. Even some black people have been killed uh, while BLM is supposed to be all about it. And let's not get make this too political though, but you can already see the BS. Like, media outlets always write BS. They always frame things a certain way that just aren't true. Oh, it's like having drunk goggles on or whatever. So, Gunn made the announcement, I'm over the moon. Excited to be working on Peacemaker with my pals John Cena and the Suicide Squad producer Peter Sanfran. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is a thing that's going to happen, but the biggest concern is the, uh, the, the thing that says it's going to delve into real world issues. And you can see how other media outlets are already framing it that... Oh, <laughs> oh, that he's going to be a, like a Trump supporter that shoots nonviolent protesters because that that's what happens all the time in the real world. Uh, nonviolent protesters who are burning down buildings, rioting, and to frame something as a whole, look, uh, all the protesters aren't violent. 
And of course, a lot of them have committed violence and all kinds of destruction and all kinds of things like that. Uh, but they speak in absolutes like, oh, he's a Trump supporter, so he's bad. And it's Trump supporters that shoot nonviolent protesters. And protesters uh, are doing no wrong, but Trump supporters are all bad and they sh shoot people that are unarmed or whatever. Uh, so there's a lot of concern in this. The series will explore the origins of his character. The first sh uh, the first season of the show will be eight episodes long with Gunn writing all eight. Okay, so it's not just one. He's writing all eight. And he will also direct a number of the episodes, including the first one. And uh, I, I'm just wondering what they're going to do if it you know, media is just framing it a certain way or if it's just going to be entertainment, escapism. What everybody really needs is escapism and entertainment. They don't need everything to be political and politicized and just in your face leftist propaganda. They don't need it. Let, uh, let's check out these comment sections real fast. Let's just forget about escapism. Ramp up the TDS and make a show that will dated in six months and unwatchable. Current world issues. Yeah, that worked so well for the Emmys. <laughs> so you can already see the way people are viewing this. Granted, I think my videos get shared to the wrong crowd of people because often when I cover things like this people just aren't aren't happy <laughs> aren't happy with the things I'm saying against BLM and all the nonsense going on so hopefully it's not a show of leftist propaganda and it could be a good show a humorous show a dark and edgy show that's just a joy to watch a pleasure to see we certainly need escapism and everybody constantly saying that we're going to delve into re real world issues I, I then present us a show from one perspective that's just leftist propaganda. That's gotten a bit old. And literally 95% of entertainment has become unwatchable because it's just leftist propaganda even if it is a field to the brim with it it's it's just you know there are little snippets here and there and you're like oh god i can tell what circles this writer are are, are the people involved in the making of this show run in and it's gotten a bit old uh and with the constant movie delays, the constant delays of everything, uh, at a certain point, people may um, may just get used to not having escapism in Hollywood that wants to piss this propaganda on. Everybody can just kiss their ass goodbye. Anyways, that's, that's my opinion of all of it. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions down below in the comments section. Fake good one here. Eventually, we will smash that like. Consider subscribing. All that good stuff. Stay awesome. Rock on.